Hi, I'm Elizabeth and welcome to another crochet session. And today I want to show you how to make the single crochet two together in the back loop only stitch. So that's a very long name for this pattern. On my channel, we are going to call this as the Nora stitch. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So for this tutorial, I will be using the Mariner Yarn Pure Wool Merino. So this is 100 grams of double knit yarn. And the recommended crochet hook is 4 millimeter. So it's either knitting needles or crochet hook. They are both the same. And then as you can see, it's approximately 280 meters. And what else can we see here? So this one is in the color spice. So with the merino wool, you can wash it at 30 degrees. So do not iron. And I think that is either do not use washing machine or do not tumble dry. I need to verify that symbol. Okay, so this is 100% superwash merino wool. So this is brand new uh, product from Mariner. So I can't wait to try this yarn. And I'm going to match that with my four millimeter crochet hook. So this is from Tulip. So this is a Japanese crochet hook. It's my favorite crochet hook of all times. So to begin, I'm going to make a slip knot. So the single crochet two together is a multiple of two plus one. So for this tutorial, I will be chaining 30 plus one and that will give us 31 chains. And now I have 31 chains into the third chain from the hook. So that's one, two, and three. So I will be using the back ridge of that chain. I'm going to insert my hook. So this can be tricky at first. And then I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop. I've got two loops on my hook. Then into the next chain, I'm going to insert my hook again. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Now I have three chains on my hook. And then yarn over and pull it through the three loops on the hook. So that's our first single crochet two together. And then chain one to secure. And then into the next chain, insert your hook. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And into the next chain, insert your hook. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Same as we did with the previous stitch. Yarn over and pull it through the three loops on the hook. And then chain one. So I'm going to do it again. So insert your hook. 
yarn over and pull up a loop insert your hook yarn over and pull up a loop there's three loops on the hook and then yarn over and pull it through the three loops on the hook and then chain one and we're going to do that all the way across So as you can see here, I'm on the last stitch now. As you can see, I've got one chain left. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to yarn over, insert my hook into there and then yarn over and pull up a loop. I've got three loops on my hook so just yarn over and pull it through the three loops on the hook. So that's a half double crochet. So this is our first row. To continue with the next row, chain two, one and two. This will be counted as our first half double crochet. So we're going to skip that one and we're going to make a stitch on the next one. But to do that, we're going to insert our hook in here, on, in the top loop only. So we're going to skip the first stitch and insert your hook into the back loop only of that stitch and pull up a loop and then insert your hook into the next one into the back loop only as well so we've got three loops on our hook yarn over and pull it through the three loops on the hook chain one and we're going to do that again so into the next stitch Search your hook and pull up a loop, same way into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull it through the three loops on the hook, and then chain one, insert your hook into the next stitch, into the back loop only, yarn over and pull up a loop, insert your hook into the back loop only of the next stitch, Yarn over and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull it through the three loops on the hook. Chain one and we're going to do that all the way across. Here we have the first two chains that we skipped earlier at the beginning. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to make a half double crochet on top of the two chains. So this is the second row. 
and we should have 30 stitches including the um, turning chains so to proceed with the next row we're going to repeat the second row so that is chain 2 and then we're going to skip so to make sure it's much better if we have a stitch marker so we don't forget where we are Pick one. So this is the top of our chain two. So we're going to skip the first stitch again, that stitch here, and then I'm going to insert my hook into the next one. And into the next and proceed with a single crochet two together and then you ha we have a chain one in between so towards the end there should be an odd stitch And on that stitch, we're going to make a half double crochet. So let's see here, make sure that we didn't miss any stitch. So always make your stitches into the back loop only. And that will give us a lovely texture for this stitch. So this is the top of the uh, chain 2 now and we are going to use the, I'm going to yarn over first, set your hook and then make a half double crochet. So we have done 3 rows so far and I'm going to do one more row so we'll see what this stitch looks like towards the end so to proceed we're going to chain two and then make sure we skip that first stitch there and for let's take it off make sure we put a stitch marker on top of the chain here so this will help you not to be confused with that stitch so I'm going to skip that first uh, stitch there and into the back loop of the next stitch we are going to proceed with our single crochet two together So this stitch has a very long name, it's single crochet two together in the back loop only. So that's the technical name for this stitch. So as you can see here, this is our last stitch 
and there should be an odd stitch towards the end um, yeah this yarn is very soft so it kind of easily tangled as well so all you need to do is just relax the yarn and it will be better so this is the top of that chain as you can see there's a chain here so all we need to do is just make a half double crochet into that Then we can take this off. So this is the uh, single single crochet two together. I'm going to continue and create some heights, and I'll show you how it looks in a bit. So this is the Nora stitch. As you can see, it creates a very lovely texture working in the back loop only of a single crochet two together. And on my next video, I will be using this pattern to make a hat. So if you would like to see this pattern on your hat you can check on that video as well but before I end this video I want to show you the tension gauge for this pattern so I've got this measuring tool so all I need to do is place the tension gauge measurement on top of the pattern so I will begin in one of the corner which is the the space or the dot here okay so I will place one of my corners so this is my X and Y the beginning of the coordinates I'm just going to place it on top So as you can see, we have these four dots surrounding a stitch. So that is composed of two stitches and two rows. So that's how we're going to count the rows and stitches. So I can count from anywhere. So I can count from here. So that is two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and we've got a half here, so that's 23. So take note of that, that is 23 stitches, and then we'll be counting on the rows, so that's the Y coordinates, and that is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 and then we've got another half so that is 19 rows so we have 19 rows for a 10 centimeter tall and we've got 23 stitches on a 10 centimeter width and we are going to take note of that for the next video that I'm going to show you how to make a hat Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.